So as you might have heard, Lucha is getting deprecated, and it said it's going to be uh, a resource of open source uh, projects, or sorry, open source resources, implementing your own authentication solution, JavaScript and TypeScript. And long story short, they said they had to do this because it was uh, increasingly getting more and more complex to me as they add on more ORMs and frameworks and libraries. Uh, you can also read up on, Co uh, you know, Copenhagen book for, you know, authentication concepts of Oslo and Arctic uh, for password hashing and things like that. And OAuth, you have like session cookies as well. It shows you how to do that. And then you have a basic API for setting, uh, setting up authentication with, uh, with your database. Now, it sounds pretty easy, uh, which, I mean, the code it is. I haven't tried the new solution yet, but there's it's a lot of manual labor just to get everything set up. Recently, there is a library called Better Auth, which is framework agnostic, like Lucha, but it basically manages everything, uh, like uh, emails and passwords, sessions, uh, provider IDs, and things like that, so you don't have to manually create a database. Uh, scheme. So to get started, I'll just go right here and uh, you can basically see a comparison between it and other OAuth libraries as well as self-hosted ones. You have managed auth services uh, like Clerk, which basically uh, means you have to give up your data to third party provider. And you, if you want to store that data, have to wrap it in a database, in a data wrapper and everything. To get started, I'm going to install it in Next.js. So, all right, so right now I'm going to create a Next.js project with Tailwind and TypeScript. Though, I mean, you can use it with any framework you want, pretty much. But I find myself more uh, comfortable with Next.js. All right, here we go. Uh, now, now let's go ahead and install a few libraries. So, first, I'm going to install the better auth package. And for the database, I'm going to use a local SQLite one. Uh, just, you know, as a proof of concept for educational purposes. But you can also use any database you want here. So you can connect it to a cloud Neon database. You can actually use it with uh, Prisma or Drizzle uh, if you want to use it with ORM. So let's go ahead and uh, enter Light 3. And we're going to hit Enter. All right, so that's installed. Let's go ahead, go back here and keep open up the docs here. I'll just And now we're ready to set up our environment. So first we're going to create a env.local file. And here we're going to create an auth secret. This is a value that's used to script and uh, generate hash passwords. So uh, for convenience, you can click on this uh, generate secret button, or you can use something like OpenSSL to generate a new, uh, a new token or value. So I'll click right here, copy, and then paste our secret. For the base URL, this is optional. You can uh, create environment variable and set it to base URL of our application. So I'm going to do that personally. So copy and paste. And now we're ready to create a, a better auth instance. So uh, there are you can create it in the uh, root folder of the project you can create it in a lib or utils folder. I personally like to create it in the lib folder here. So lib inside the source folder then call it auth.ts. I'll copy this code. We're just going to instantiate a new uh, object called better auth. And this is where we configure things like the database, uh, providers, and things like that. So scroll down right here. Uh, we're going to use SQLite, but like I said, you can use Postgres or SQL if you want to. You can also use it with Churso right here uh, with the libsql library. And they have an example below with uh, Easily, but I'm going to Copy this above. Actually, not copy. Create database menu out. Uh, database. Actually, going to save this file called SQLite.db. And we also need to import a database from Better SQLite 3. And obviously, we get an error because uh, we don't have the type declarations for the library. So copy, clear everything. And then I'll type in pnpm install and save dev types. And there you, and the error should be OK. There you go. Now save everything. Now, the next step would be to 
uh, create a uh, authentication method. But before we do that, we're going to generate a database schema. So do this, we're gonna, uh, copy and paste this command, which is better auth CLI generate. And then we're going to also migrate it to our database and apply these changes. As you can see, it says, do you want to generate the schema? And yes. And if you look at the file explorer, uh, you can see it has created a migrations folder right here. You can choose to put it in the git ignore if you want to. I'm not going to do that personally. Now, finally, we can migrate these changes to our database. So type in better auth CLI migrate. And then it's going to give us a quick overview of the changes we're going to apply to our database or the migrations we're going to run. So hit Y for yes. And there you go. Now, you want to make sure that these have successfully applied. We'll go to SQLite.db, which is in our root folder right here. And this step is optional, but in VS Code, you can download an extension called SQLite Viewer by Florian Camfer. Clamfer, excuse me. And this is going to give you um, sort of like a, a table viewer of sorts where you can view the data, uh, you know, in the SQLite file. All right, now let's add our OAuth provider. Uh, you know, for, con for convenience sake and, you know, for the sake of this tutorial, I'm going to go with email and password. But there's actually a guide on how to set it up with uh, GitHub right here. If I quick search GitHub, you can follow this guide right here below and you know, getting started with uh, GitHub OAuth. All right, there you go. Now we're going to copy this email and password. Or actually, let me type it here, email and password. Create an object, enabled, and then set this to true. So we're enabling uh, email and password authentic. And now since we're using Next.js, we're going to create a route for authentication. So API auth, login or sign up. And this is a catch all route here. So going to copy this and then open up Explorer. And then inside the app folder, we're going to create API auth, square brackets, three dots all, or uh, then close the square bracket, route dot yes. There you go. Now we can paste it right here. And what basically what we're creating is are actually two uh, API ha route handlers js that better auth is going to call to authenticate our application basically with this library from our client that we or actually we're going to create the client instance uh what i meant was that actually we created a better auth instance all right so in this lib folder uh you can basically uh well, well basically we're going to create a client file so for convenience sake we're just going to call this one client.ts and in this client.ts, uh, this is going to be where we create our auth client. So uh, you also need the base URL, which we uh, put in our env local, fi local file. So we're going to create and use that. So instead of this heart coded value, we're going to just process.env.better auth URL. Save. And basically, this is like 90% of the setup pretty much done. It's super straightforward, very easy. Now, we're going to go back to our page.tsx. Uh, this is where we're going to display our information, you know, authentication and things like that. So, go right here. I'm going to make this uh, a use client component because we're going to import, uh, use a React hook that's built in with our uh, auth client that we created earlier. So let's head over to our basic use. All right, so first we're gonna create a few, uh, pay, uh, two pages actually. We're gonna create the sign up page and then we'll create a login page like that. Now, for this example, we're just gonna copy the sign up page as it is. For now, let's just put an H1 that says hi or hello. And now we're gonna create a file relative to our current view, call it sign up page.tsx and paste everything right here and um yeah well because we have our file client name client set of auth client so make sure we fix that save there you go and image now 
Again, this is just a function a function that doesn't exist. Uh, this is just an example from the docs. We're not going to use an image right now, so let's get rid of that. Now, notice that we have three have three functions: we have on request, on success, and on error. On request, right here, uh, as you can see, you can lo uh, show loading states or whatever while the request is being made. Firstly, we're not going to do that right now, so get rid of that. Now, on success, uh, we want to redirect the user to the home page. So to do this, let's import the. First, we're going to get rid of the state. We're going to import the use router from. Uh, we're going to import use router from next navigation, and then right here we're going to say router dot replace, and then we're going to replace. It. Uh, sorry, replace it with a uh, forward slash here. We don't need this context. And alert, will, that's just fine. And we're going to get rid of this uh, element. And we also don't need to return any data. We don't structure it. Yeah, and that is our sign up page pretty much done. So we're basically calling a function called sign up dot email. So we're letting letting better auth know that we're signing up with email and password and we're redirecting the user after we up so we're gonna take this code uh as it is and pretty much use it for our sign up logic so we can actually go right here and uh duplicate i'm gonna say this is a login page inside this login.tsx instead of Sign up, we're gonna say sign sign in dot email and we don't actually yeah uh not gonna pass in name also gonna remove this input right here and just to make sure this is a spelt example right here now for some reason they have a separate they have a you know uh sign up example with a framework with React and another one using different uh framework like spelt. So I, I don't know what's going on here, but uh, the concept should be the same. So password email. Instead of sign up, let's actually name this function login. So now we can get rid of this. And uh, yeah, this. So we've successfully created two, um, eight uh, auth pages. Then you have like a separate guide for social sign on and then you have the sign out function which we'll get into later but for now let's just go and uh, run our dev server so clear this terminal and then run pm pm dev or npm run dev if you uh regular npm and i'll go to localhost 3000 all right here we go uh i mean it says hello for now because we haven't imported a button uh any buttons for signing in or signing up for now let's just go ahead and uh import the go ahead and manually type this out so sign up all right right here find ourselves in so test now styling doesn't look pretty good the inputs and everything this so dot com Put in a password here. The name I'll just say my name. And then when we sign up, it would technically invalid email. Oh, okay. Okay, I made a mistake here. This all right, we uh in the docs I actually swapped the name and password. I or I did, so load. And this should be get a hydration error. This is Next JS issue I've had for a while. And if we click on sign up, there you go. We are back at the home page now. We're not gonna know that we're signed in for sure unless actually display the user's information. So let me just zoom. and since this is a client component, what we can do is call the use session hook uh without making this asynchronous component. So const session go to auth client uh the client that we created and then uh we're gonna call the use session hook right now we're gonna say if 
uh, the session doesn't exist, we're going to return a div with the following. So we're going to basically render our uh, login and sign up buttons. So link. All right, login. And also we're, we need the sign up link. So there it is. And as you can see, it's empty right now because we're already logged in. So in this case, we want to return the following. So uh, basically, we're not. All right, so we're getting the session and then uh, let's just destructure the structure, the data called data and then the user object. Then we can get their name and then for that we can say hello. Hello user. There we go. And yeah, if you haven't noticed autocomplete auto you know automatically got this uh auth client dot sign out. Um so it automatically heard that this is what we should type. So yeah, now let's try logging. Well actually before we log out, I want to I want to do one more thing in the login page right here. Let's extract this uh, another function. So const sign out. Then it's going to be an async arrow function. And then this doesn't have to be synchronous. And then we want to redirect the user to the uh, login page. So let's use our wrap for the user router hook from next navigation and then right here we can also type um play router dot replace and then login just call the function if we click save now we should try logging out and it automatically sends us right okay this is actually a sign in page i forgot so now we have a test at test um so we have the email first, and then we can type in password. Now if you log back in, there you go. We have hello user, log out, our log out button. So yeah, this is how you set up a simple authentication system with OAuth. Now there's more I haven't gone into. I just noticed that you can actually put this in the fetch options instead of like you know the sign out logic you can actually this right here inside the like the fetch options and then on success you're successfully locked out we can do router dot place here no need to like call it outside or any have a more convenient so yeah this is how you set up a simple oh uh authentication system with better off now there's more to this than yeah i hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did be sure to give it a big thumbs up uh, and subscribe to my channel so that you don't miss out on my content. I'll see you next time.